Toronto, Cam win snowboard pipe at Copper. Copper Mountain on a day when seven American men attempted to get ahead on Olympic qualification via podium finish at the U.S. Grand Prix World Cup snowboarding finals at Copper Mountain Resort on Saturday, December. 9, it was Ben Ferguson of Bend, Oregon, who left the Woodward Superpipe in the best position. At the first Olympic qualifier of the season, Ferguson was awarded an 89.75 on his second run. It featured a bag of new tricks that the 22-year-old said are completely changed from the past couple of years, namely the switch twist and switch double backflip that he ended his runs with. He nailed those after dropping in with a back one into the half pipe, followed by a cab double ten, a double crippler and a back three, before his new finale. I think I just got more consistent, since last year, Ferguson said. I put more time in on my snowboard on the half pipe, and also just going into it to have fun and not putting too much pressure on myself. I need to get a couple more banger tricks, he added, a couple more spins, a couple bigger tricks. Then I think I'll be pretty ready to go. 75 was the top American score of the day. Ferguson's performance was well behind the 95.25 posted by Japan's Yumu Hirano on his second run. The 5 foot 4 inch 2014 Sochi Olympic halfpipe silver medalist ran away with the Grand Prix title on that second run, though he also posted a first run of 90.50 that would have been good enough for first place. Ferguson held on to the second place spot despite a riveting final run by Olympic veteran Sean White, who at 31 has his eyes on qualifying for his fourth Winter Olympics. The 2006 and 2010 Olympic halfpipe gold medalists strung together backside air, a front double 14, a cab double 1080, a front stale 5 and a double twist 1260 on that third run. It was one he and others in attendance at Copper felt may have warranted a better score. I honestly just was using this contest as practice, you know, White said. Obviously, I wanted to, I think, post a better score for the Americans. I was putting in my first kind of easier runs to just put in a great score, lock it in and that allowed me to then go for my second and third run a little harder. I'm a little disappointed in my score for the third run. I really thought I was gonna bump up at least doing a 14 and a double 10 and a double 12. I'm a little confused right now, but that's why we do these events. White's showing came after he crashed in October while training in New Zealand, which forced him to miss a month of training. Hurano's Cow Andre Maitre Ibu Katayama secured fourth position with an 84.75 on his final run. That score bumped back four Americans into fifth through eighth place, respectively Danny Davis, 83.25, Ben Ferguson's younger brother Gabe, 7900, Chase Josie, 77.25, and Gregory Bretz, 72.50. American and 2010 Olympian Louis Vito, 3,300, rounded out the finalists in 10th place while Australia's Scotty James, who topped his competition after qualifiers, finished in 9th, 38.75. As it's an Olympic year, American snowboarder Kelly Clark said big progressions in the level of riding should be expected. At the Woodward Superpipe at Copper Mountain Resort on Saturday, 
Clark and her American teammates didn't disappoint, as she was joined on the podium by champion Chloe Kim and second place finisher Maddie Mastro. Despite a flatter pitched halfpipe at Copper than other World Cup and Olympic qualifying events, Kim achieved remarkable raw amplitude on her first run of the day, piecing together an air, a front 10, a cap 7, a front 5 and twist to earn a score of 93. 75 for the title. I'm totally speechless, Kim said. I woke up and I was like, oh my god, I'm so nervous. I'm going to puke. But, you know, I think the half pipe kind of makes me feel at home and all the nerves go away when I'm dropping in and I'm just excited to try new stuff. Mastro entered the day with a high score from the qualification round, which meant she had one final chance to best her teammate Kim on the final run of the day. Mastro put together a remarkable run, bumping her best score of the day up into the 90s. But the 90.75 wasn't good enough to overtake Kim. It came on a final run that featured a front 9 indie, a back 5 grab, a front 7 Hawken, flip, and a front 5 seatbelt. Clark described this week of qualifying and finals at Copper One which featured 5 American women score in the top 8 and 16 American women take part in total as a 0 to 100 type of week. Though there wasn't much practice, the veteran Clark considered it a job well done for the Americans, as she took third place with a score of 83. 75 via a run that consisted of a frontside air, a backside 5, a frontside 10, a cap 7, a crippler 5 and a backside air. <laughs>